Hubble, bubble, toil and trouble, fires burn, the cauldron bubbles. But I don't have a cauldron. Welcome back to Element 14 Presents. I'm Katie, and in today's episode, let's solve my conundrum and make a cauldron. Right, so to get started with this project, I've been to the local craft store and I have bought myself a cauldron. Right, episode done. No, that would be a bit too simple and it's a bit boring. So when I was there, I saw all these glass bottles. Now I've got a red, a greeny one, and this purple one was the closest I could get to blue. So let's imagine this is blue. And if I can find a blue bottle at some point, I will swap it in. And I thought, wouldn't it be really cool if you could actually make a cauldron that you could make a potion in by tipping in things from all the different jars? That's what I'm going to do in today's episode. So I've got the cauldron, I've got the jars, and I've got myself some electronic supplies. So I've got a Arduino Uno, an Adafruit, NFC shield to go on the Arduino and a reel of near pixels to use to illuminate the inside of the cauldron um, and then I'll put some sort of sheet over the top to sort of diffuse the colour but with the idea that if I put NFC tags on each of these bottles and detect my imagining pouring it in then I can change the near pixels to be that colour or that combination of colours. So half fill it with red, half fill it with blue, and I'll get a purpley sort of colour. Let's get started. So I've written some code to test out the idea on my bench. So I've got the Arduino Uno and the Adafruit NFC shield. I've got some NFC tags and this little tiny one. And I've got a meter of NeoPixel strip. The code just initializes everything. It sets up an array. So I figured out these tags identifiers. So I've set them up in this array with what its ID is tag number is the last entry says what I want that tag to do I've got some features for displaying the colors on the strip I've got a function for wand which is going to be this little tiny one that I'm going to put inside the wand that will make the colors mix so I've got the setup and then I just go through looking through to see if the uh, unique ID of the tag matches any of the ones in my array. If it does, then it will look at the last item and decide what that tag wants the actual program to do. And I figure out the color mix, so what the mixed color of the current pixels are. So then if the wand is swiped, it can show the colored mix. And I've set up a extra two tags to do brighter and darker that will just, whatever it's displaying, change the brightness up or down. So to test out where I was putting the tags, I've already put these on to two bottles. So I've just stuck them to the top of the cork on this white one. And this is the black one, so they will just stick like that. I think I might need to put some glue to help them stick because the cork isn't the best surface for them to adhere to. So I'll be doing this with my other ones, but this was just to test the idea. So now let's see it working. So I can take this tag and hold it there. And that one is a red. So I could give it another red. Maybe I want to add some blue. I'll put a couple blues in and let's make all the rest of it green so I'm just going to keep holding it there so every second another entry is added so this I can check the brightness so if I keep holding the white one there it'll keep getting brighter till it's at maximum and if I put the black one all the way down to 10% so they're working my colors are working 
Now the wand, this is really small because it's going to be hidden in the wand, so for now it's a bit fiddly. But I swipe that, it comes up that it's picked up a wand on the serial monitor. Mainly I've now got the whole strip with that colour on there. So I'm really pleased with this, it's working really well. Um, I love how I can add different amounts of colour and show them with just the colour sort of profile as well as the mixed colour and adjust the brightness. My next job is I'm going to put this in the cauldron so I can sort of assemble it all together and see it actually working and lighting up the cauldron. So I've got my cauldron, now I'm going to wrap my Neopixel all the way around the inside edge and I'm going to drill a hole so I can put a little uh, DC power in socket and then I'll be able to power my Uno and all the Neopixel strips and everything uh, nice and easily. So now I can put a 5 volt uh, DC adapter in there and I've got 5 volts to go to the Arduino and the Neopixel strip. So now what's left is I've got my NFC reader and I want that on the underside of a piece of uh, sort of frosted acrylic uh, so it looks like there's sort of a bubbling solution inside my cauldron that's changing colour. I've got this which is uh, grey perspex that is frosted. I think it's going to be perfect so I'm going to mark out my circle size that I want to fit in there and then I'm just going to use a jigsaw and cut it out and then I can pop that in the top. And my disc is made so it sort of see it should let the light through but it's not massively see-through. I've got some of this super sticky double-sided sticky tape. Non-stick scissors are really handy for dealing with this. And I'm just going to stick this to the middle of this sheet. So in here, if this double-sided sticky tape doesn't stick well, there are holes for mounting it. But I don't really want the screw holes visible on my acrylic. So I'm trying this first. So there, you can sort of see it. Um, I think it looks fine. At least you can see where you're aiming for. And actually on an angle, it's barely visible, especially without the light. Well, I've got above me, pointing straight into it. Hi, I'm David from Element 14 to the Electronics Inside. Join me as I tear down toys, tools, appliances, modern, vintage, classics, and even some new releases just to find out what's inside. I've just drilled a, another hole in here because as cool as it was making it all light up I thought how about trying to make a game out of this so I'm going to have a button for a game mode and I'm just going to add to the code a little game where uh, a little indicator will give you a colour I'll minimise the colours down to say six colours the three primary with the sort of three as a 50-50 mix gives you a colour and you try to replicate that with the bottles um, and then check and see if you've got it correct. So I'm going to just code that up, flash it to the Arduino and then we can check that's working at the same time as looking at the whole cauldron. Right, so I finished assembling my cauldron. A few little things I've done. I've stuck a piece of black vinyl where the NFC sensor was stuck underneath. Because it was a blue PCB, it was quite visible through the frosted grey acrylic. I mean, you can still see where the black vinyl now is, but it's much less obvious. So that's good. Other things I've done, I said about the game idea. So I've put in a little press button just above where the power is. So pressing that when you turn it on will turn it into game mode. And I've got a hole at the bottom where you can connect in this jewel which will give you the colour for the game to play. So that jewel I've made, so I got a uh, jewel silicon mould and I got out my resin curing oven again 
check out that episode if you haven't seen it. I haven't ever done resin stuff before, but it's I'm quite enjoying it now. I've got to think of what I can make next. So I made up some clear resin. I mixed it with a load of glitter, probably slightly too much glitter because there's quite a lot pulled at the top of the jewel, but it's fine. It just looks quite sparkly and glittery. I filled it halfway up the mould. I cured that resin. I then added a near pixel ring on top of that layer. Now in my first attempt I used some cut up bits of the near pixel sort of strip and soldered it together with wires around. It was sort of flexible, more flexible than the tape and I could make a circle. That test didn't go as well as I'd planned. It looked really good but when it was halfway through, I took it out of the mold to look and then put it back in the mold. But when I went to pour the next layer of resin, it all seeped around. So a rule I've discovered, if you're doing multiple layers, don't take it out of the mold until you have completely finished. It was a bit silly looking back, obviously. Um, but I've made another one and it's great. So I put the near pixel ring in and then I filled the rest of the mold with black resin and then we've got this jewel which I'm really pleased with. It looks really cool. So that's for the game mode. My next thing was I needed a wand. So I made this wand by taking a piece of four mil dowel. I then covered it in this uh, air dry clay foam. I rolled out lots of thin pieces of the foam in slightly different shades and wrapped them around the dowel to make this sort of knotted woody gnarled effect for a wand. It looks fairly jumbo and almost comical but I think it goes well with this whole set as a cool magic wand. And then the final thing I did was just neatened up the bottle so I'd stuck the NFC tag on the top of the corks for the bottle but the NFC tags were covered with the company logo and the model ID of the tags. So I've got these sheets of cork tiles. I think they're made for going on the floor or going on walls. I use them for um, portable heat proof mats for soldering on. But I had one that's got quite dog-eared around the edges and just generally isn't in a good condition. So I took that, I shaved off half the thickness to make it much thinner. I did this with a craft knife and then I sanded it so it was all flat. I then cut out the size for the corks and just stuck it on over the sticker. So I'm really pleased now, it just looks like a cork and I could just pop them back in the jars. So now let's power on the cauldron and see it working. So I'm just going to take this power adapter and plug it into the power socket. So the jewel goes white. That's the colour I've set it to if it's in sort of normal interactive cauldron mode. So I'm going to put three of red in. Now you can sort of move it in and out for each one or you can hold it. So this time I'm just going to hold it for three of green until the right amount of segments have filled and then blue, and then magic wand. And then I can use the white and black ones to adjust this color. So there we go. Let's make some different color mixes. Oh, that's quite a cool purpley pink shade. magic and we get a yellow let's just do some random mixtures let's add a few of the green spider cider so it is and abracadabra Ooh, we get a nice greeny blue sort of turquoise color so i'm really pleased with that now let's test out the game mode so i'm just going to power it off move the button and power it on. So now in this mode, the gem will light up a color. So we've got this sort of greeny blue. So now I need to try to match that. So the game mode only works with three segments. So there are six color options just to make it not too impossible. 
So the code is the same as the code I walked through for the 10 for the normal colour, but it's picking a random colour, showing it on the jewel. Then you've only got three segments, so there are six options and it will match that across. So it was a greeny blue, wasn't it? So let's do two of blue and one of green and try that. And it's flash red, so I didn't quite get the right colour. So let's try a different option. So that's the mix. And it's flashed white, so we got it right that time. Yay! So now we've got sort of a purpley colour. Let's try two of blue, one of red. Am I going to get one first time? Abracadabra. Yes! White. And the last one we've got is white. So I think I know this one. One of red, one of green, one of blue. Tap, tap. Yes! Let's end it on a high of getting it right first time. I'm really pleased with how this project's gone. I think it's so much fun just being able to add your colours in. A bit of red, a bit of blue. It actually feels like you're mixing all the different colours up. And I really like it. It's really cool. Um, I've really enjoyed this project. I think it's quite a lot of fun. It'll be really good for Halloween. Um, even be good for just showing colour mixing and colour palettes and how you make up different colours using only the three colours. But yeah, let me know what you think. Are you going to make one of these? Uh, would you do anything differently or are you going to do anything differently? It'd be great to know how you might change this design or change the idea. Or even if you're going to make it exactly the same, I'd love to know. But that's all for now, so I'll see you next time and happy Halloween. <laughs> Bye.